When it comes to loading a dishwasher, everyone has their own method, right? Everyone thinks theirs is the best way to do it. Apparently, there is a correct way to load the dishwasher. Cleaning expert Melissa Patera shows us how to do it. I get a lot of questions about dishwashers and a lot of complaints from people saying that their dishes aren't coming clean and the majority of the reason for that is the way that it's loaded. One of my favorite tips that a lot of people maybe don't know is that you don't have to rinse your dishes before they go into the dishwasher. You just want to remove the large debris and big pieces of food because your dishwasher detergent is formulated to cling to those food particles. If it doesn't have any food particles to cling to, it will do that to your dishes and over time it will etch them, you will have residue left over and your dishes really won't be that clean. So I'm gonna show you how to properly load a dishwasher. It's fairly simple, all of the things you thought you knew, and I'll show you a couple of things that maybe you didn't know. Now for starters, do not be tempted to put your cups and your glasses on these tines, these small little things that stick up. The dishwasher was designed to take your cups and your mugs all along the side and they sit at an angle. The purpose for that is so that the water will run off of them. So that's where you want on your top rack, you want all your glasses. Now, maybe you have some pretty neat features like a stemware rack, which is this. And that is for your wine glasses so that they don't rattle around, bang against each other and break. The other things that go on the top rack are your bowls, and plastics. You're gonna put plastic on the top because it isn't as hot as the bottom rack and that way you don't have the risk of it melting. Now, the bottom rack is for all of your big pots and pans, your plates, and maybe cutting boards, cookie sheets, things like that. And if you do not have a third rack, all of your cutlery is gonna go into your basket. Now your cutlery basket may have cutlery cells which are these here, and the purpose for those is to keep all of your cutlery separated so that they don't touch. If you do not have cells, so your cutlery basket just looks like that, that's fine, but the main thing to remember is that you want to switch your cutlery in an up and down pattern in here just so that they don't end up nesting or spooning together because they're not gonna get clean. And always remember, that your knives go in a downward angle. Always put your knives facing down just for safety reasons. And once you close up the bottom drawer, you wanna make sure that your spray arm can move freely. And then you're gonna move on to putting in your detergent, which seems very simple, but there's a couple of mistakes that people make with detergent. One of the most common and popular detergent is pod format, which you're going to place into the compartment. Now, I know you may have seen a lot of things on social media, on TikTok, on Instagram, where people are putting these into their cutlery basket or even into the bottom of the dishwasher. That makes them ineffective. The design of the dishwasher is to release the dishwasher pod at a certain time in the wash. Now, if you have issues where maybe it doesn't seem like it dissolves, one of the reasons for that is when you're putting it in, the compartment itself isn't dry, so it'll stick to it and it actually won't release it at the correct time. Now, the other issue would be if your hands are wet. So you wanna make sure everything's dry when you put your pod in and you wanna make sure that that door freely moves, that it doesn't have any gunk or any buildup. So there you go. I hope that these tips helped. Good luck. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.